This video is about a significant and rather startling finding from Chinese scientists that suggests nuclear weapons might be the key to saving Earth from a catastrophic asteroid impact. You might be wondering why this is so important. Well, asteroids have the potential to cause unimaginable destruction, and finding effective ways to deflect them is crucial for our survival. This video will delve into the details of the recent Chinese study that proposes using nuclear weapons to prevent asteroid collisions with Earth. We'll explore the reasoning behind this approach, the challenges it presents, and what it means for our future. By the end of this video, you'll have a deeper understanding of why this issue is critical and how scientists plan to protect our planet from these potential cosmic threats. Asteroids have always posed a threat to Earth, but what makes this threat particularly alarming is the difficulty in detecting them. Near-Earth objects, or NEOs, are asteroids that come within 45 million kilometers of our planet's orbit. Of these, a smaller subset is labeled as potentially hazardous objects when they approach closer than 7.5 million kilometers and are larger than 140 meters in diameter. The consequences of an asteroid impact, especially from a large one, could be catastrophic, potentially triggering climate changes akin to a nuclear winter. The challenge lies in the fact that many of these asteroids remain undetected. While space agencies like NASA are actively searching for these celestial bodies, the task is far from easy. Asteroids are small, dark, and difficult to spot, particularly when they approach from the direction of the sun, which blinds our detection efforts. Despite advances in detection technology, the possibility of missing a dangerous asteroid remains a significant concern. The Chinese study highlights this issue, stressing the importance of developing not just detection methods, but also effective ways to respond to a detected threat swiftly. The researchers from China's Deep Space Exploration Program are particularly concerned about the gap between the number of asteroids that have been discovered and those that likely exist but remain undetected. This gap is dangerous because it means that we might not have enough warning time to prevent a disaster if a hazardous asteroid were to be found on a collision course with Earth. The ability to detect these threats early is critical, but as this study suggests, having a robust plan to deal with a detected threat is equally important. The idea of using nuclear weapons to deflect asteroids might sound like something out of a science fiction movie, but according to Chinese researchers, it could be our best bet. The rationale behind this is quite straightforward nuclear explosions have the power to significantly alter an asteroid's trajectory, especially when other methods might fail due to time constraints or the asteroid's size and composition. The study evaluated various methods to alter an asteroid's path, including kinetic impactors, which involve crashing a spacecraft into the asteroid installing rockets or plasma engines on the asteroid and using high-powered lasers. However, in scenarios where an asteroid is just one week away from impact, these methods may not be effective or feasible. This is where nuclear weapons come into play. The sheer explosive power of a nuclear device can cause a significant enough deflection to avert disaster, even with minimal warning. What makes nuclear weapons particularly suitable is their ability to deliver a massive amount of energy in a very short time. The researchers suggest that a nuclear warhead with a yield of 1 million tons could deflect a 50-meter asteroid. However, if the asteroid is larger or composed of denser materials like silicon, a more powerful warhead or multiple missiles would be necessary. This approach is not without its challenges, though. International laws currently prohibit the use of nuclear weapons in space, and there are concerns about the environmental impact of nuclear fallout in space. Nevertheless, the researchers argue that in a doomsday scenario, the benefits of using nuclear weapons would far outweigh the risks. This study brings to light the importance of being prepared for such scenarios. While the idea of using nuclear weapons might be controversial, it underscores the need for effective and reliable methods to protect Earth from potential asteroid impacts. The discussion also raises questions about how far humanity is willing to go to ensure its survival, even if it means revisiting and potentially revising international laws on the use of nuclear weapons. Developing the capability to use nuclear weapons in space comes with a host of technological and legal challenges. 
One of the most significant technological hurdles is ensuring that these weapons can be deployed rapidly and accurately. The Chinese study emphasizes the need for technologies that allow for the rapid launch of nuclear warheads from Earth, targeting asteroids within a very tight time frame of seven days to one month. Precision is key here after traveling vast distances, the warhead must strike the asteroid with an error margin of less than 100 meters. Another critical aspect is the long-term storage of nuclear warheads in space. The idea is to have these weapons ready and waiting in orbit for years, even decades, until they are needed. This raises concerns about the reliability and safety of storing such powerful devices in space over extended periods. Furthermore, Ensuring that these warheads remain functional after years in space would require significant advancements in space-based storage technologies and maintenance procedures. On the legal side, the deployment of nuclear weapons in space is currently prohibited by international treaties, such as the Outer Space Treaty of 1967. These treaties were designed to prevent the militarization of space and to protect the space environment from nuclear contamination. However, the Chinese researchers argue that these laws might need to be reconsidered in light of the potential threat posed by asteroids. They suggest that the global community should start discussions on creating exceptions to these treaties in cases where the survival of humanity is at stake. The study also touches on the potential geopolitical implications of developing and deploying nuclear weapons in space. Such a move could trigger an arms race in space, as other nations might feel compelled to develop similar capabilities. The possibility of weaponizing space has long been a concern for many, and this study adds another layer of complexity to that debate. The question then becomes how do we balance the need for planetary defense with the desire to keep space a peaceful and demilitarized zone? As we conclude, it's clear that the threat of asteroid impacts is not something to be taken lightly. While the idea of using nuclear weapons to prevent such an event might seem extreme, it may be one of the most effective strategies available especially when time is of the essence. The recent Chinese study highlights the importance of developing not just the technology to detect and track asteroids, but also the means to respond swiftly and effectively to any threats that arise. This discussion raises important questions about the future of space exploration and defense. How do we prepare for threats that are still largely unknown? How do we balance the need for planetary defense with the risks associated with deploying nuclear weapons in space? These are questions that will need to be addressed as we move forward. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. See you next time.